What is up guys, it's King Ranch 13 and today we're taking out the, the new 2020 High Country HD or the Chevy Silverado 2500 High Country. I guess I'll call it the High Country HD. So we're actually running out to give y'all an update on uh, Josh and Colby's flip house that y'all may have seen a little while back in my previous videos. If you haven't seen them already, go through and watch all the other videos. It's kind of, I try to, I'm trying to keep it like a story, trying to make it something exciting to watch every time y'all see a video. But anyways, we, we're gonna be putting on uh, a go light today. This is the portable go light with the LEDs. And it's got wireless uh, remote and everything like that as y'all may have seen in some of my other trucks. But we're gonna be putting this on today. It might be here in a minute because we gotta run and pick up some pizza for everyone. But there's my wife and the new puppy. His name is Buddy. Just got his Gunner kennel put in the back. Shout out to Gunner kennel. Awesome kennels. I know a lot of y'all have used them and uh, they're great. A lot of uh, good reviews on them. Uh, this is my second one that I bought. First one I bought actually was for my papa. For his is Duck Dog Anna. And now this is for Buddy. But uh, anyways, I guess I'll just do a quick unboxing. All right, let's open her up real quick. All right, shout out to the wife for being cameraman, camerawoman. Oh yeah, also, Kershaw, knives, good knives. All righty, here she is. There's the instruction manual. We don't need instructions up in here. <laughs> oh, there goes the remote. Right, yes, the remote. And it looks very similar to Remotes from back in the day. Batteries. Buddy. Oh yeah, shout out to Josh for getting me these hard overalls. They're the best. Oh yeah. Oh, that's... Fresh. Look at that. All right, wow. and so now this is the magnetic base, so it's stuck on the tailgate because Chevys are magnetic. And this is the portable version so that you can use with the handle. Nice. So you can always take it off, but uh, it's got a magnetic base on it. All you do is just slide it in. So when I mount these on the trucks, here, I'm gonna turn the truck off real quick. So it's not so loud. Now you want it to be clean where you're mounting. So I'm gonna mount this one right here. This has got this spoiler kind of thing, so I'm gonna put it right in front of the spoiler. About, right about there. Make sure it's all centered up. I'm pretty OCD about that kind of stuff. You wanna take it so you can show? All right, so. Got it lined up with the back edge there and lined it up to the center. So that's kind of how she looks. Put that down. And then as far as this cord goes, there's not really a clean way unless you drill through or something like that. So I don't really keep my trucks very long. So I always kind of take them and tuck them into the rear slide glass. And uh, usually there's enough give in, for example, like right here in this corner. Uh, I don't know if, yeah, right there in that corner, it'll be able to kind of seat right there pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the cord, put it through the back window. So I'm gonna be holding it right here. Let me give you the keys. Right here, nope, right here. There we go. All right, go ahead. Okay, and then in the middle, of the upper console, there's a little tab that you can pull back towards you. Yep. All right, pull that back a little bit. Oh, okay. All right, so it's gonna start to slide back. Right. Go ahead and slide back now. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. So now it's seated good. Rain don't get in. So that's how the temporary setup is gonna be for now. Grab the box and put this tailgate up. Press the button right here. Where is it at? Right there. All right, you want to see the camera? 
Yeah, uh, get back in there. I was gonna film you on there. And this is what I love about these is the rear view mirror. Mirror. And then you can still flip that down and actually have a mirror. Hello. Hit the tailgate button. Yep. It's pretty high, so he's not gonna be able to jump right now as a puppy. There we go. Kennel. Good boy. Good boy. Awesome. Cool. All right, got the remote batteries put in. Still need to plug that thing in. So let me see if there's an outlet back here like, uh, yep, there we go. So. I'm probably gonna figure out a cleaner way to wire this, but for now, just for demonstration purposes. All right, go ahead and plug it in. Grab the remote. Key on. All right, let's see. Sweet. All right, here's the first light. Oh, dang, that is super, super bright. Holy crap. So there's speed modes as well. So let me turn the light off. If you press this once, it's gonna be set to fast. But if you press it again, it'll go turtle mode. Or slow, fast. Low, fast. There we go. Pretty cool deal there. All right, well guys, so that's the install for the light. Let me go ahead and get on picking up the pizza and going over to the flip house and showing y'all an update. It's later in the evening and okay, I've got the floodlights or whatever light button on that has the bed lights that come on. And now we're finally gonna be able to test out the go light. Let me go to the other side, grab the remote. All right, so we're gonna turn the floodlights off. Grab the go light remote. There we go. All right, let's see here. Oh yeah, thing's super bright. So it's a spotlight. Oh yeah, look out there. That's at the corner. Dang, those are the trees at the opposite side of the field. Yeah, holy crap. It's stupid bright. Now shining forwards. There's probably a tether's house. About, I don't know, maybe 80 yards away. There's a shop about 100 yards away. This Renee shop. There's the wood line.
<laughs> Sean Josh says. <laughs> Wonder if the kids can see. Yeah, I'd say this light's pretty bright. You ask me. All right, well, I guess uh, there's a little review of the Go Light. Uh, I'll, as time goes on and I shoot more videos with this truck, I'll try to include more videos of it at night on how I use it, use it to load up um, stuff in the bed. And um, hey, that makes out for a little nice little light in the carport. You can see things pretty good here. But uh, anyways, yeah, looks pretty good up there as well. And I want to say there's like a uh, little cover or like a lens thing you can put onto it uh, if you want to use it as a floodlight. Anyways, this, this is a spotlight and I use a spotlight and it works pretty good as a flood anyways, um, but just because of how bright it is. But hopefully this showed you all a little bit of what the go light does i'll put a link in the description below where y'all can buy one off of our website typically we have all these in stock usually two to three business days with shipping sometimes because of covid and the holidays right now it might be delayed just a little bit but yeah these go lights are awesome y'all have seen them on some of my other trucks i haven't put them on the limited here uh, lately because the body is aluminum and unfortunately go light doesn't make the suction mount anymore uh, which I really used to like uh, the suction mount worked really great, but I've had both the suction and the magnetic The magnetic one doesn't go anywhere. So don't be worried about it flying off potential or anything like that I guess on the aluminum bodies. I'll uh, Have to make a bracket for them. Actually. There is a bracket. It's just like hundred fifty dollars and I just I don't know if I would recommend it just because it's hundred fifty dollars just for this stupid bracket Maybe it'll be worth it. Maybe not I, Maybe I'll just buy one just to be able to do a review on it or whether I recommend y'all just to fab one up or something like that Because they'll um, go inside of the third brake light assembly You know, I, I always want to make sure things are really clean and uh, aren't gonna leak uh, or Mess anything up. So I'll do one of those reviews whenever I get one for the 2020 King Ranch. But for now, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you all uh, learned a little bit something about these lights. Go buy one for your truck in the link below. Hope you all take care. Peace out.